Good morning. This is the bag that I was working on in my last video. So I just wanted you to see what it looked like finished. And um, I did the braided um, suede cord handle that was woven in as I wove it. And then I um, put in a magnetic snap and it's um, lined. I didn't do anything fancy. Um, I did basically a French uh, seam on the sides and it came in, it's a little bulky. I mean, I don't think it's a problem, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different with that. So that's one of my bags. And this was the suede cord that I braided to make the handle. And I'm still experimenting with um, inexpensive ways to make handles that um, I'm happy with. I'm also gonna show you just a couple of other little bags that I've made. Now this was woven on my four shaft loom and um, a lot of times I'll use if I have just a little bit of warp left. So, and I use different things for handles. So, I found some thick, um, I think it's cotton cord and so that's the handle for this one. And um, these, I just made a loop and put a button on and that's my closure and they're lined. So that's one, a little bit different one. Different shape, yeah, different sizes. Um, this was a, a vintage button that I found. So it's kind of fun to look for buttons too. And, and I played around with different ways to put these together. I really haven't come up with great solutions, but uh, I also wanted to show you, this is a rug that I just finished. And I know you can't see the whole thing here, but this was all woven on my two chef union loom and it's weft faced and I used um, doubled um, cotton rug warp and I wanted to show you, oops. So the edging, I did a full Damascus and then I twisted the fringe and knotted it and I used one of these little hair twisters is actually what they are. And when I got this one, it was um, really inexpensive. It's just battery operated and you put the fringe in there and you can't see, but it's twisting one way and then you twist it back the other way. So this thing works great. I was looking for these, um, I think I got it on Amazon uh, the other day because uh, I couldn't find this one. I wanted to get another one and the prices had gone up and I couldn't find one exactly like this one. So, but they're out there and they're really handy. I do a lot of twisted fringe because I don't like, um, I don't what, like a lot of times the way the fringe wears. And so I think it's more protected. And the last thing I thought I would share is, I don't know if you can see, probably this is the, Techniques of uh, Rug Weaving by Peter Collinwood. And I got this on a used book website. Um, and you can find copies relatively inexpensively. Some of these weaving books are more expensive. It's mostly black and white. There are a few color plates in here, but it's got everything in here that you could possibly ever want to know about rug weaving and finishes. So I always go back to this because I can never remember how to do the Damascus edge, even though it's really simple. But I'm always back at, at that page. And the book's nice and heavy. It's good for weighting down your weaving while you're doing your edges. But anyway, um, you know, it's, it's not the easiest book to read. I think he was English. And, um, you know, when this was written, the language is a little bit awkward sometimes. Sometimes I have to read through uh, several times to figure out what exactly is, is going on, but it's a great book to have and I highly recommend. And it, it, it has a lot of pictures in here, black and white. There's a few, I think, color plates. 
and they're all at the back of the book. I'm not sure when this was printed, but quite, quite some time ago. So everyone have a good day and I'll talk to you later.